Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and this is the Rideshare Hub. Now if you're interested in making 20 to $30 per hour being a Lyft driver, go ahead and use my link in the description for huge sign-on bonus, all right? It's gonna be up to 500 and in some cases $1,000, depending on where you are. So now let's get started today's video. This is top five mistakes all new Uber and Lyft drivers make. So the first mistake that a lot of new Uber and Lyft drivers make, and this one's super important, is that they use a new car, or one that's worth a lot of money. You know, if you're driving a $30,000 car, and you're putting a bunch of miles on it, and most Uber and Lyft drivers drive close to a thousand miles per week on their car, and if you're driving that much on a really nice car, it's gonna depreciate in value more than the money that you're actually making, or close to it. You know, you're pretty much breaking even. But say you're driving, you know, a $2,000 car, and if you put, you know, another 50,000 miles on it in a year, the car's really not gonna depreciate that much in value. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and use a cheaper car as opposed to a new car. And don't find this out the hard way, and don't try, you know, doing Uber and Lyft with a really nice car, because you're just gonna end up losing money. The second mistake that most Uber and Lyft drivers make is that they drive around looking for new passengers. So after you, you know, complete a ride and you're waiting for a passenger, you're just gonna wanna sit where you are and wait for the ride to come. Because the way that Uber and Lyft is set up is that they match you with a passenger based on your location. So if you're gonna drive to a new area, you're actually leaving an area where a passenger could be requesting a ride from. So you're actually not doing yourself any good and you're just wasting gas driving around. And not just gas, but you're wasting depreciation uh, and maintenance on your car as well through racking up all those miles. So once again, just stay where you are and you'll find a ride, I promise, okay? Trust me on that one. So the third one is that most new Uber and Lyft drivers do is that they don't record all their miles or they, and they don't save their receipts when they, you know, they buy gas or when you buy um, you know, new gum, say you're gonna give gum to your passengers. So what you wanna go ahead and do, and this is huge, huge for tax reasons, is that you're, you wanna log all of your miles. There's an app called uh, MileIQ, which is pretty good. There's a couple other ones as well. And just go ahead and save all your receipts. Just take a picture every time you buy gas. And what you wanna go ahead and do is you compile all this, and when you're filing for taxes, this will save you thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you're not doing this, you're pretty much gonna owe like 30% of what you make. And you know, that is like huge. You're pretty much gonna be losing money if you don't do this. So make sure you log all your miles and track all your receipts. Okay, the fourth mistake that all new rideshare drivers make is that they try to talk to every passenger. Okay, your pass not all of your passengers are gonna wanna have a conversation with you. I'm, I hate to break it to you, but some guys, you know, they just want to get to work. They're just doing their daily commute or, you know, some of them are having a bad day. They just want their earphones in. So don't try to strike up a conversation with everyone. You know, pick and choose. Feel the vibe. If the person asks you a question first, they probably want to have a conversation with you. So keep asking them questions. If they don't, what you want to do is ask them a, a question like, hey, how's your day going? Or, um, I don't know, make, just a simple question. And based on their response, you can gauge whether or not they want to talk to you, okay? So the fifth one is that a lot of Uber drivers make, Uber and Lyft drivers make, is that they speed, okay? Sometimes you think, oh, I need to you know, get to my destination faster so I can get a new passenger, or I need to get to him faster so I can make more money. What this is really doing is one, you're wasting more gas, and two, your passengers actually don't feel safe. You know, your passengers don't really care how fast they get to their destination. They care more about safety. So make sure you drive slowly and very rarely will your passenger be like, oh, can you drive faster? In the, when every time I've taken a ride, I'm always thinking, can this guy just slow down a little bit? I want him to feel more safe. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below, or if you have any additional thoughts that new Uber driver and Lyft drivers make, let me know below. Once again, if you wanna be an Uber or Lyft driver, use my sign-on link in the description for huge sign-on bonus. All right, it's gonna be up to $500 to $1,000, so go ahead and do that. Enter in your, I think it's just your phone number, and they'll send you the application. And once again, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.